Good morning, world. Hi, everyone. I got up very early this morning. That's why I'm out. Look, sunrise. Sun up. And if you look up there, we got the moon up as well. Huh? So, I got both heavenly bodies appearing in the sky at the same time this morning. Is it now? I think it's the 19th or the 20th of May. I'm keeping my voice down in case I wake anybody in the village. <laughs> When my dog was alive, I used to take him for walks before dawn, five in the morning. And uh, he'd see cats and he'd start barking. He'd wake up everybody in the village. And then their dogs would start barking in their houses and I would head home and leave them all to uh, wake up by themselves. <laughs> now, yesterday, I grew a load of tomatoes from seeds that I lost. I had them 20 years in a box, organic tomato seeds, and I couldn't find them. And then not long back, I found them. I planted, I soaked about 200 in a, a saucepan, plate of water, and only 19 came up. I've also planted some charred spinach, Lettuce, lettuce, aubergines, peppers, beetroot, beetroot, very important. I have a huge field and I have the smallest garden of anybody. More courgettes, more courgettes. And that's a little courgette I grew from seed, which was in that box 20 years. Ah. There's so many interesting topics to talk about. I have some uh, subjects that I want to discuss. Now look at this electric fence, you see that? It's the last thing I want to talk to you about. Now, now I'm through. How does one talk about the current affairs? We've been through so much reveal been so many lies we found out so many lies even though we may really have not gotten to the truth we know what's not true hey hockey having breakfast bon appetit everybody wants to talk about wars and the money and, uh, I've switched everything off basically, you know. I've gotten into getting some work done here for the spring, getting the place ready and all that. And I have absolutely no interest in all these freaking international affairs, you know. But something isn't right somewhere. Because all the way down through the centuries, this past few centuries, everything that these, this cabal has done has been timed to the second. When their wars begin and when their wars end and when their plans for any other thing, begin and end, they're timed to the second. I reckon that when they do a reset, it's timed to the second. And uh, when they pulled off this big disease, I reckon that the day that it was going to end was timed to the second. And then the next crisis 
is going to begin and it's timed from beginning to end we've seen it with their wars and all the shit that they got up to in the past and uh, I was discussing it with a friend yesterday how uh, you know come the 11th hour of the 11th month hey Teton how are you if uh, is the you know that's it time's up next thing and uh, it's like um, like with the resets you know the when they had a reset and it's time to kick the world back off again uh, any of these you know all these big buildings that they left over they're still standing because they hadn't gotten around to smashing them up yet and the reset is coming to an end and when the reset comes to an end anything that's still standing suddenly needs an excuse for being there hence the fake architects and the fake uh, historians but um, when it comes to these wars you all seen and you all know the reason we are given why World War I began and in that reason if you look at the guy's registration number on his car it's got the date of the end of the war on it that's it they're telling us exactly how they have everything planned and you know they must stick to their their plans and I reckon this for many reasons including places like the Bank of International Settlements stating well, from this point on we ain't paying for any more of the damage so this brings people to uh, the negotiating tables for surrenders and then the dates are always very significant my grass is very long so it's like that it's not that suddenly oh it began here and oh suddenly it ended here no 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 the big boys decide when it begins and when it ends and it begins and it ends on the second is there they <clears throat> have astronomers and astrologers and they know the exact moment to make their move you know the last thing well they always you want to make damn sure that if you're going to pull something off you want to check that Scorpio isn't in Uranus wouldn't you because that might uh, tip the balance and uh, change the results and the balance is never tipped and the results are never changed so they plan everything out they planned out this big disease they've planned these this war this is another thing yeah how come the Winston Churchill philosophy of war must be continuous church bells yeah war being continuous it, it's suddenly I mean who's running the show now where dates and times aren't respected and that wherever you look there's a war going on of course we're told there's a big war going on but in fact 
If you look the other way, there's about 45 different wars going on. Some brutal. We're not getting told about. Well, we know about them, but we're not getting hit with them. <sighs> yeah, man. That's an early morning stroll for me. Look at Titan, the horse, and the moon behind him. And the sun coming up. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know what brought out that, like, all of that out in me. Just sitting here, minding my own business. Taking no advice from anybody. Zero TV, zero news, zero newspapers. Uh, I don't know, man. What what shall I do with this place? Because if uh, Crowd Slob gets his way, he'll take this off me, and I'll own nothing and be happy. So I can't see myself being very happy not owning this and handing this over to uh, some... Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. You don't want to end up uh, kicked off of here, do you? Has everything's gotten so green? We have had a month of beautiful sunshine, or probably more. It's 30 degrees yesterday, 31, be 30 today. And, uh, this was a hiding place, really. This was something that I desired for many years. Get my own piece of land. Get my own place with no neighbors away out in the country. Live off grid. Oh, electric fence. And, uh, Protect myself from those wolves. I got no mortgage. But not all of you are in the in the same position. I don't got a lot of income. But I got no mortgage. And the last thing I want to do is to hand this thing over to some crowd slob. Who wants my field? I think I'd go to war. It would be. But you see here, the French, you see? The French are funny, they're strange that way, you know? Not such a warlike people, but they bang their war drums all right. They fly over here all the time in their jets and the rest of it. They never won a war. But they, 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 you try to tell them about change and they'll answer you back things like oh well the difference with france is we already had our revolution and we kicked all those creeps out and we've been running the show ever since they haven't got a fucking clue i don't think there was a revolution i don't think napoleon was real i don't think fucking louis the 14th 15th 16th 17th 18th 19th all that lot there's no reality to that whatsoever. Marie Antoinette, have cake and say, get your head cut off. No, 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 no. But in their minds, they've had their revolution. So they don't need another one. So they're quite happy to sit back, drink red wine, get pissed. For the past 200 years since the revolution and feel great. Yeah. Hey, sisters. You waiting on sun up? Nice. And, uh, it's weird. You know, it's what's needed now, is revolution. But here in France, no, 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 we don't need to have that there. We already had that already. <coughs> Whatever happened in France at those revolutionary times, I reckon was much, much worse.
than what they think it was. Look at all the millions of skeletons all stacked up underside, underneath Paris. Look at my red hot pokers. This is what crowd slob needs to sit on. And then light the fucking thing. Yeah. Where was I? Why am I getting distracted by that crowd slob? Where was I? Yeah. So the French won't revolt. Because they had their revolution already. So they believe. In fact, they were all slaughtered. The entire population of Paris was slaughtered. Chucked down chutes underneath the city. History has been really skewered in this country. And they believe that they have this great heritage with all their chateaus and all their kings. And I mean, to try to explain to a French guy here that that whole Chateau de Versailles was an industrial farm. <laughs> Where you got your veg from? Man, they have uh, pulled off the scam of the century. And anyway, I'm living down here in this delusion. And I'm going to keep my voice down again. As I'm walking past windows where they wake people up. Nobody's up. I've been up since like five. Yeah. Not thinking about nothing until I looked up and I looked out and I saw a really nice warm day today. And the sun ain't up yet. So I'll take a little wander around. Let's check the territory. Hey, some of you may have seen my snakes video with the two snakes were making love. Yesterday, two much bigger snakes, much more huge, came out and they were doing the same thing. My son went up and I said, don't move, don't let them see you. And of course he made a noise and they uh, ran off before I uh, got to catch them. They didn't run off, they slithered off. Look at these irises. Mm. Yeah, this is a famous well. And it was meant to have cures for many things. This is the water we drink. And I told you before, the road that goes by down here is supposed to be the road that Richard the Lionheart and his troops went to their went to, he's buried down the road so he didn't come back. <clears throat> so if they were thirsty, they would have stopped here because it's the only well along the side of the road for miles. I could come out one night out of my tree and catch ghost horses. Uh -huh. Anyway, I don't know what I was doing there. I don't know what I'm ranting about. I can't even remember what I said. Huh? But anyway, take it in. <clears throat> if I can get up this hour of the morning very early, I could get more videos made before the rest of the place wakes up. Anyway, that's it. Beautiful morning, sun on moon. Keep your head down. Don't put your money in the bank. And uh, yeah, I hope to speak to you all soon. Now I need to go in the house and get myself a nice cup of tea. Take care, y'all.